Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. To most people, Robert Downey Sr. is just the father of Robert Downey Jr., which makes Documentary Sr. all the more important in educating people on who Sr. was. Success may burst like a clap of thunder over his head if he isn't careful, and he's a talented underground filmmaker named Robert Downey. But, however interesting a birth-to-death documentary would be, it wouldn't really be appropriate for a man who defined counterculture filmmaking in the 60s and 70s, making films that were the antithesis of those for which his son has become so well known, not just in terms of budget, but because the Marvel franchise is perhaps the most minutely pre-planned cinematic venture ever conceived. While Senior's approach was a little different. You didn't know where the story was going to go. You didn't know if there was a story. This was never going to be a standard documentary as it is produced and really driven by Junior, as much for his benefit as the audience's. I'm very interested in who my dad is just in the here and now. But, perhaps inevitably, someone as creative as Senior was never going to sit back and just be the subject. See, I think this we should switch seats. Initially involving himself in the direction, and then... He would rather be doing a film about something else than allow a documentary to be made about him. So the middle ground has been, he's doing his own version. So the documentary becomes part making of for the far less traditional film that Senior is making. Fourth floor, solarium, aquarium, sanitarium. And I genuinely can't think of anything more appropriate for a filmmaker with such an irreverent style. <laughs> You can't eat. But who nevertheless said things, and things that no one else was saying. Putney was right in the middle of all of that civil rights turmoil. Even if he did his best to play it down. Did people try to ascribe meaning to your movies? Oh my god. I hope not. And the same is true of the documentary, for all its lack of convention. It's pretty clear that we know what we're doing here, right? right? We have to know something. It has much to say, most poignantly about the relationship between father and son. I knew that we were not like the other families. You... Junior's first screen credit was in his father's Pound, a seldom shown film for which I have a bizarre affection, and he grew up in that world. So I got very used to falling asleep to the sound of clapboards. For better and worse. I think we would be remiss to not discuss its effect on me. Yeah, well, I could sure love to miss that discussion. <laughs> and father and son, in some ways, have a shared story oh, arc. I was a drug addict. The poignancy is increased by the fact that Senior was suffering from Parkinson's. And just cut away to the shakes that I get sometimes. You just see that going on. And the lengthy filming period. This is year three of shooting. The daddy doc. Charts his decline. And whether that was something on Junior's mind at the start of the project, it becomes more and more its focus. And yet, I would hesitate to call it a memorial, not just because of its humour and the documentary aspects that do manage to slip in. Yeah, I used my stepfather's name to go in the army underage with a fake birth certificate, Downey. But because it's hard to call something a memorial when its subject just won't stop and is actively turning it into something else. What he's trying to do is turn the camera on to what it is he's trying to say. What that is remains to be seen. And I can't help wondering if either man understood how revealing this would be of the son as much as the father. And it was the first time that Pop ever noticed something I was doing. While attention has rightly and reasonably been focused on the two Roberts, huge credit should go to director Chris Smith and his editors who have managed to find a film that unites the visions of both father and son in a way that seems very true to Senior's filmmaking ethos. Call Follow the Film. So, if you want a documentary that tells you about the life and work of Robert Downey Senior, this is not it. If you want one that tells you about the man, this is closer while still maintaining the enigma. Who is this guy? Uh, I'll never know. But if you want a film about a father and son, this is moving, entertaining, and as freewheeling as its subject deserves. I loved it. 
Thanks for watching. Have you seen Senior? What did you think of it? And what are the documentaries that best capture the spirit of their subject? Let us know in the comments below.